Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this eye-popping PowerPoint slide on PowerPoint. I'm Sadma Sadiq and I'm using PowerPoint 2013 for this tutorial. Alright, let's get started. First, I'm going to get a picture. So I'll go to Insert, then I'll go to Pictures, and then I'll select a picture. I'm going to select this picture, then I'm going to left click on it twice, so I have my picture. Now, I'll put it in the corner and then fit it exactly to the screen, just like that. So we have our slide like this, the entire picture. Next part, I'll create some text. So I'll go to insert, I'll go to word it and click on this and I'll type eye popping PowerPoint slides. All right, you've seen this on the thumbnail. So I'm actually creating the thumbnail. All right, so I'm done typing two lines. Now what I will do is just holding down shift. I'll click on this and change the font to dagger square. If you want to download the dark square font, you will find the link in the description. You can download it for free. Now I'll put eye popping on top and put the PowerPoint slides in the bottom. Then I'll drag all of it and increase the size a bit more so that it fits the screen. Now I'll click on both of this and click on S to get rid of the shadows. For the next part, I will press on this both holding down shift and change the font to white. Done. So this is just fine. If I want to see in this place, I can see the thumbnail will something, look something like this. It's highly readable. So you can exactly read what I'm typing right over here. For the next part, I'll get a new slide for your convenience. And I'll click on this image and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. So that I have something like this. And I'll do the edit right over here. But so that you can see it, I'm going to hand it over to the next slide. So I'm going to get this slide. Press Ctrl C to copy it, then I'll get in the another slide and press Ctrl V to paste it. Now what I will do is go to Format, then go to Crop and crop it just like that. Done. Then what I will do is go to Remove Background and I'll have something like this. The purple areas will be removed and those areas which I can see clearly will be kept. So I'm going to increase the size a bit just like that. And I want to keep the helmet and this tube, so I'm going to stretch it like that, just like that, done. For the next part, I need to get rid of these greenish and bluish areas. So I'm going to go to mark areas to remove, then I'm going to drag over all of it, done. And I'll drag over all of this, and this might be a tedious process, but we need to make this very clearly. So I'm just removing the areas that I don't want to keep. So I'm going to also tell the computer which areas I want to keep. So I'm going to mark areas which I want to keep so that it's easy for the PC to understand what I'm trying to do. All right, done. I'm going to keep the boots. So it's a bit tedious process. And if you want this exact picture, I'm going to give the link in the description below so that you can download the exact picture and you can try it on yourself. So I'll be deleting areas and keeping areas. So I don't need to make it full perfect, I just need to remove the outlines, that will do the job. Alright, I'm almost done, I need to keep this leg part over here, I've kept it, and I'm going to have to keep this tube. It might be tricky to keep tube because it has multiple colors and the piece is really struggling to understand what I'm trying to keep and what I'm trying to get rid of. Alright, done. If you feel bored, you can just skip this part and fast forward to 10 to 20 seconds. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this, this, and this. All right, so far I'm done. I'm done with this. Now what I will do is just keep changes, click on it, and I'll have something like this. Then you don't need to remove it anywhere. Just click on this, press Ctrl C, get in the previous slide, and press Ctrl V. And it has got pasted in exact position of the previous place. So we are done with our slides. So that's how you create eye popping PowerPoint slides. So thanks for watching. And this is how you can put your text inside your image. That's another trick which I've shown you in previous slides. So you can create something like this effect. So thanks for watching the entire tutorial. Hope you liked it. If you want to contact me, you can contact me directly in my Facebook account, which is Adnan Sadi, or you can contact me in my Facebook account, which is. PowerPoint Pro or you can type it in the comment section so that I know what I try to make so that I can make for you what you want and that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and don't forget to share with other people so that they can learn.
from this channel too. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.